What is up, everybody? It is Wednesday. Oh, I forget. It's sunny today, so... Just can't reach anything. Summer is ending. Gotta try to wear glasses as much as possible. Just gonna catch you guys up really quick on what we're doing today. Once again, we are getting some paint. We're going to paint land, getting some paint for the harness bar and the intake. There's a couple of things I want to do um, that require a little bit of time. I took a day off to do it. So, uh, you guys are just gonna come along for the ride and we'll see how this goes. Um, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. There's gonna be plenty of content coming. And um, if you have an Instagram, which I know you do, head on over to underscore underscore GP underscore underscore photography. Never been to Bob's Paintland, so I'm not too excited about that. I ain't going any places because I never know what the driveway situation is going to be and whether or not I'll be able to go up on it. Now, my car's not slammed as some of you guys are, which I have no idea how you guys drive because, I mean, I'm breaking things. I guess the other exhaust is not for sale because um, that just killed my exhaust. Yeah. Why, Greddy? Why? All right, Bob's Paint Land, here we come. Okay, it's wide enough that I can do some insane sideways to get up here. Sweet. We'll see what they can do for us. stuff in here. Definitely the right place. Well, I guess I'm just gonna rattle can it. We'll see how it goes. So, oh, paint. Sandpaper. Receipt in case I don't use stuff. Let's do this. later. Dude, that girl just hit a curve. I want to paint in the sun. I don't want any bugs. I don't want any dust. There's no wind. You know, I just do it out in the backyard. So, side note. This is what I want to put back in my car. I wish I would have... Maybe I'll spray them black or something. Maybe I'll paint... I don't know. It's going to smell like paint in there. If I... I'm going to drill a hole right there. 
so that the harness bar can sit. Look stock. Or at least look like it belongs there. This is what it looks like. Like that. Bare metal. Not cool. The shades of that harness bar, not the same style as the seats. That's why we're changing the color. It'll be good. It'll be good. Let's do it. Got the harness bar out. What are those spots? Harness bar is out. Looks so naked in there now. It's a functional back seat. What? All right. Let's get the other stuff out. So there's that. Different color coming for these. Okay. So I'm changing the color of that. Because this is like kindergarten colors. Toyota, I don't know what you were thinking, but uh, you done messed up, boy. You see that? That is not cool. So we're gonna be painting that too. See how this goes. things on the way in so I'm gonna take out the strut bar so I can get it in there without it touching anything but instead of unbolting it I'm going to take off my windshield wipers which I kind of already did went ahead of it and did it um, it's just a 14 and I'm gonna take the cowl 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 c-o-w-l that goes on the windshield there so I can reach and access the bolts is glitter. I'm seriously hoping I'm not gonna regret this. Glitter is, we all know, the herpes of arts and crafts. And now it's the underlining of my heart. <laughs> uh, they're here, they're finally here. 
right here. They actually showed up today. Their weapon R. I didn't explain that it's um, all you need to take the seat off in case you're gonna do it is a uh, 14 millimeter socket. I mean, a ratchet makes it a lot easier than uh, a wrench. And uh, yeah, it's just four bolts. One there, one there, one there, one there. And then underneath there, you're gonna find these little clips. Just push on them, take it off. This one's a bit harder to take off. So I use a flat head to kind of get in there. And uh, when you're down here, you can might as well vacuum it all up. As you can see, it's one of those areas that doesn't get much attention. All right, let's, uh, let's open this. this little seatbelt thingy off again it's just a 14. now underneath your seat here's that kind of just goes in through there somewhere in here and it's this I had the hardest time taking this little sucker off Oh my gosh, of course I don't make it easy. It's like on the uh, left side of the driver side seat. And it's like tucked in back here. Of course you gotta like disassemble a whole bunch of crap just to access it only to figure out that oh, it's really hard to get. So I had, I had some people tell me I was gonna have to do some uh, modifications to make this fit. And one of the modifications I'm finding that I have to do is um, the bolt hole for where the seat belt will go attached to. Uh, it's really skinny compared to the OEM. So um, I have a step bit. I don't know what it was called. Anyways, using this to drill a bigger hole to fit a normal size screw that I can trust. to get them in I got like three bolts out of four in and uh, it's pretty steady but but uh, yeah this is kind of a, kind of a first look if you can call it that kind of what it looks like on the inside there Uh, as you can see, I was kind of working on it during work. If you're a car guy, I don't know if you've ever like taken a break to go work on your car. I've done a couple of things where, um, let's see, a couple months ago, my exhaust got stuck on a speed bump and ripped off. And I didn't want to have that metal being all loose and shaking all over the place. So I did what any car guy would do. I took my lunch, jacked up the car, took the rest of that pipe out um, that was all broken and um, called up the wife. She brought me an uh, extra axle back that I had at home that I was gonna sell, but ended up working out great. It didn't sound the best, but hey, it worked. Um, swapped it out, out in the middle of the parking lot, and voila. And that's like, I've done a lot of things like that. I'm kind of impatient when it comes to um, getting new parts on. So yeah, I kind of do stuff at work on my brakes. A few moments later. All right, so I just went to the post office after work. I gotta say, the trees are changing colors. It's time to get some photos done. And um, yeah, that's a little side note there. But um, just went to the post office, picked up a couple of the stuff, normal stuff. And um, don't, you guys like, don't you guys just like getting the Harbor Freight stuff? I mean, I'm all, I'm all about floor jacks and foldable shop crane and oh man I need a lot of this stuff in a garage I just need to buy a shop that's what I should get 
forget buying a house, buy a shop that has like a loft. Done deal. Anyways, I will look at that after. So, this is from the sponsors, Six Speed. Thank you guys for everything. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Okay, I got some um, Six Speed license plates, covers, frames. That's cool, that's dope. I'm okay with that. I'm all right, I, I probably will put that on there. Oh, oh man. Oh man, all right, they sent me a carbon fiber uh, style shift boot. That's what I'm talking about. That'll look, oh, that'll look so good there. Replace that, thank you guys. Let's see here again, oh man, oh, sweet. Oh, lanyard. Awesome. Awesome. Once again, guys, check Six Speed out. They make pretty sweet stuff. Huh. Oh, they want to make sure I got plenty of stickers to put on my car. Dang, I might give some of these away. If you guys haven't heard of yet, there is Hot Import Nights. I know I've probably mentioned that a couple times on this uh, video, but if you guys want it, some six speed stickers find me come find me my car will be there i'll hand these out uh got some valve stem covers blue uh, we'll see how that looks uh and this is what i've been waiting for oh guys this is gonna be so sweet so i'm gonna be replacing all of my all of my bolts and screws with uh, these really nice dress-up bolt kit that they sent me. Thank you guys. Six Speed, you guys. Thanks for giving me a shot. You guys rock.